Come here. Let me let you in on a little secret. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you want the hot fudge? What's up, guys? Welcome back. What's up, chumps? To another video. Uh, today's gonna be another kind of vlog style video. Uh, we're just gonna keep it real with you real quick because we're talking about the growth of the channel and stuff like that. We're just gonna say this real quick and then we'll get into the video. Uh, obviously, we're not on some of these bigger YouTubers level, but we're trying to get there. So stay with us, we will get to that point. We saw a lot of growth this year. I mean, granted, it's Mustang week. We always kind of see growth, but it's probably the, the most amount of growth we saw. 100%. And even after we get home, we're getting more and more and more. Grand, we've been getting a lot of uh, shout-outs from some bigger guys, but shout-out to you guys. You know who you are. You the mans. <laughs> but uh, just, just stick with us, because the plan is we're going to try to at least post at least one video a month. And I know it doesn't seem like that much, but... As a smaller channel, if we're going to survive, not only on YouTube, but in life, we can't be spending thousands of dollars so we can post a video every week. Right, Because That's true. there's plenty of stuff that we could still do to the cars, but it, it's not cheap stuff. Yeah. So we're not saying we're not gonna do car stuff, because we are. That's still the primary objective of this channel is automotive based, but it doesn't mean we're not gonna throw some other stuff in there into the mix. So stay with us. We will get to the point we promise because we're, we're getting there. Right. But. And, and kind of piggybacking off that real quick. If there's specific stuff that some of you guys would like to see, yeah. you know, just kind of spitballing a few things off the top of my head. Like if you guys are interested in gun stuff, I know that's kind of iffy because YouTube's a little eh about yeah. that. But if there's specific stuff that you guys want to see that kind of branches mm. out, um, you know, outside of the car stuff a little bit, feel free to let us know and we'd be happy to, you know, kind of change things up a little bit or dive into different areas. If, yeah, because if we we're, we're into all sorts of shit. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, if it's not cars, we're into guns. If it's not guns, I'm like, I'm obsessed with RC stuff. I got a couple pretty quick, like 70 mile an hour plus RC stuff. Like, there, there's a bunch of different avenues that we could explore, but. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna, we're just, uh, just real quick, I was just trying to be honest with you guys because from the get go, because we don't want to lose you guys because we're, we're trying to get to the point to where we could be on so and so's level, whoever it may be. But we want to do it our way. Like we have plans for a shop in the future, we have plans for this or that and the third, but it isn't going to happen overnight. So stick with us and we'll get there. So, yes, sir. But into today's video. We are doing a couple different things, but the primary point of this video is we're doing a Mustang recap. Week recap. So uh, we're gonna be running around kind of a vlog style type thing. Right now we're headed over to Walmart to go pick up some stuff. But, the Gucci uh, store, you mean? <laughs> the Gucci store, <laughs> little inside joke. But yeah, I mean, overall, like Nick said, we're gonna be just kind of going over uh, like a day-to-day -day of kind of how Mustang Week was. Mm -hmm. um, we'll kind of talk about like our favorite parts of each day mm -hmm. and you know just just a recap not to go like in too much detail but um you know just kind of going over the overall thing as a whole because like we've mentioned this was technically speaking your first actual mustang week yeah like the turnout was like not even close compared to what it was in past years like it was so much better <laughs> right i mean even on days where it seemed dead it was still miles ahead of what yeah, it was like, hell even on the day one at twin peaks like we we got there parked and we we're out for two seconds you're like this this is mustang week mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah at twin peaks um first thing you know we kind of went out and washed the cars mm -hmm. um then we went over to twin peaks we ended up that's when we ended up meeting up with jd the first time yeah but yeah i mean it was a great turnout like that entire mall parking lot was packed with nothing but mustangs it was crazy to see um because i haven't seen anything like that since the first mustang week that i went to mm -hmm. which i want to say i could be wrong but uh, it was 17 or 18, I think, mm -hmm. was the first year that I went down. Um, 
so it's it's been a it's been a while yeah um so it was cool to see it packed like that man like it was memory lane and it was it was nice to see i mean broadway's still a little eh but yeah i wish they would have done i wish they would be able to do more stuff at broadway because don't get me wrong i like the mall but one of the biggest things about the mall is it's off of i, b I believe that's 17 right there I, I don't remember exactly um but that's where you see all the videos of the guys doing the pullouts and stuff mm -hmm. but the way the cops are now it's it's so ridiculous that you can't even do that anymore yeah. so the mall is kind of nice but the only thing that you can really do is walk around and look at the cars or stand there and look at cars you, you yeah. don't have when you're there all day, you don't have any other options to go do anything else like you would at Broadway. You know, you could go get grab some lunch. You could go walk around some of the other shops or whatever just to break up the day a little bit and not be baking in a parking lot all day. Yeah. But I get why they're, why, you know, why they're doing it. It's nice that they still allow that to happen mm -hmm. since Broadway isn't. But... Myrtle Beach, one of these days, will realize how much money they're they're gonna lose by pushing us away. You yeah. Know? But we're about rolling up to Walmart right now, so we'll see you guys when we get back out. All right, guys, we just got out of Walmart. Uh, got a couple random things that we needed, and uh, where are we at, bud? Food. Food. <laughs> Yeah, we're freaking hungry, so we're stopping at Firehouse Subs. If you haven't had it, it slaps. slaps. It does slap. Doesn't really matter what you get, it always slaps. So, have you ever had hot head burritos, too? I haven't, but I've heard good things and bad things, so I don't really know. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to get some food, and we'll, shit, we'll probably bring them inside. Why not? Show them how good it is. You guys can eat with us. You're yeah. cool. All right, guys, we just got out of Firehouse. We were going to eat inside, but there was, like, hella people in there. Yeah. And it was kind of loud, so. Well, we got the freaking Firehouse. I got some mac and cheese in there, bud. He's got, I don't know where he put it. But Back there. No, Lots of hot we, sauce. We might be fat because we got the large and I got a mac and cheese, but it's fine. Speak for yourself. I didn't get mac and cheese. That's why I said I got mac and cheese. Open oh. your damn ears. No. And there's my arch nemesis right there, boys. Freaking Kia Stinger got gapped when I was full bolt on, bud. <laughs> Freaking jerk. That was gross. Thanks. Sounded like you died a little bit. I did when I lost to a Kia Stinger. That's fair. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, day two was Beaver Bar. and uh, That shit was so awesome. Beaver Bar always is. Like, yeah, it never disappoints. The first year that I went down, Suck Bang Blow was so much bigger, but... It was because they did a lot more burnouts out back. Yeah. And then they also did a shit ton of burnouts out there on the street. Like, that was the yeah. majority of it. Now, it doesn't seem like they're doing that as much. So, Beaver Bar is just more fun. And it's just such a nice little spot to do burnouts. And when you're a content creator like us, it you, it's just a good place to be. Because right. you're right up in the middle of everything. And I don't know about you, Andy, but it just felt like... It makes us feel like we're doing something because everyone's just staring at us and they're like, who the fuck are these people? And we're like, yeah, we're out here doing our thing with, <laughs> yeah. our, with our 500 plus subscribers. Get out. Yeah, we love you guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a good ass time. It's probably my favorite part of Mustang Week, or it was my favorite part of Mustang Week this year. I don't know about you, but there's my- I, I think I have one other part that's probably my favorite. Um, Oh, jeez. There's a speed bump. Ooh. Jesus. I forgot about this. Anyway. There's um, there's one other part that's probably my favorite, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, but I'll talk about it when we get to that point. Okay. Um, but it was definitely a good night. I mean, we got to hang out with JD again. I think that was kind of the first night we really hung mm -hmm. out with him. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we got to hang out with him for a little bit, which was super cool. And then... Uh, watch all the burnouts andrew we thought blew up his car but he drove it out he was he was rev bombing the freaking two-step and shooting flame balls doing all sorts of crazy shit and he's like why are you guys freaking out it still runs there there's <laughs> there were a couple that kind of scared me though like the uh 
the GT350 one, that one kind of Yeah, scared. that sketched me out a little. The kid, the, the blue one, that the yeah. kid didn't know how to do a burnout apparently. I he, was up he close to it. He did a good it. one. He did, but I was up close to it and I could hear it and I swear to God it sounded like it was knocking or tapping or something. And I was like, because eh, he, he was just bombing the rev limiter, like the, the factory rev limiter. And it's just like, eh, just making these god awful noises. I'm like, oh God, do something other than that. Dump the clutch. <laughs> Dump the clutch. Oh God. But I mean, I think it was a good night overall. Like mm -hmm. it was probably one of the most fun nights. And then after that was when we went with JD. We, we kind of dipped out before all the, we were gonna stay for some of the other burnouts, but we ended up not because we were all just exhausted and, mm -hmm. and hungry. So we ended up dipping out with JD and the fam. And uh, I think that's when we went to Waffle House, yeah, wasn't we, it? Yeah, we got we like, Waffle House. Got like midnight Waffle House. And, and I'll say, I've never had Waffle House. Fucking slaps. Not, I mean, I had it prior to that day for the first time while we were down in Merle. But I always was one of those people was like, gross right like no there's no way it's good like it's disgusting and then i tried it and i was like okay i, I can see why people like waffle house <laughs> it kind of slaps and it's cheap good food but uh we're rolling up to graham's house right now we're slowly rolling I'm slowly rolling because this old guy is there's a yard sale over here and this old guy is walking extremely slow but <laughs> with not a single care in the world no. that behind him but uh, we're going to go over to Graham's and eat our food, and then we will see you guys because we think we might go out for another reason. God, get fucked. <laughs> like I said, Andy's very impatient. <sighs> but we're going to eat our food, and we'll bring you guys right back on. Dial it. All right, guys. We just got done eating our firehouse. and We're magically in the car again. Yeah, and now we're over at Maynard's. Fill your tummy with Menards. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's what the saying says. But uh, the next day was day three, which was suck, bang, blow. Yeah. And I don't know about you, it wasn't bad. Maybe it was because we showed up so late, but it wasn't the best. No, we did show up a little bit late, um, mainly because we were dropping off wheels at JD's so mm -hmm. they could ride with us and yeah. then um that was really the only cool part was we had to hang out with JD basically the whole day but. yeah that one was pretty fun but we did get to meet um Brian the um Kona Stang I yeah, think was his Instagram Fox, with the Fox yeah so that was kind of cool we did get to see a little bit of burnouts but not nothing crazy not yeah. much um we I didn't even know they were starting. Yeah. I didn't even hear it from yeah. out front. It was. We so would just quiet. turn around. There's just smoke pouring, and we're like, "Oh, let's go back there." And by the time we got back there, someone poured a bunch of. Well, they didn't do it on purpose, but their engine poured a bunch of coolant, apparently. Yeah, and, and it made it really it made hard. it really hard to do for people to do burnouts. So it was just kind of clapped after that. But yeah, but I mean, it was still it was still a good night. Um, not as crazy and then i think we ended up getting uh shakes again that night didn't we yeah yeah, a cookout yeah we have a cookout shake obsession and I, i'll tell you guys if you ever go to cookout i've tried so many of the shakes don't listen to him no the one the, the one you up. want hot is, fudge no hot fudge <laughs> it is slap the one you Woo, want hot fudge. <laughs> the one hot fudge <laughs> <laughs> the one hot you, fudge! <laughs> you want the hot fudge? Bitch, let me talk. <laughs> it's probably hot good fudge. too, but the one you want is the peanut the butter Oreo. <laughs> peanut butter Oreo, <laughs> freaking slaps, bro. It slaps. Come here. Let me let you know a little secret. No, 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 no. You, no. you want the hot fudge? <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's the reason why I say the hot fudge one is so good. Because if you like the flavor of hot fudge, that's basically all this is. You think it sounds weird, because I'm like, well, why would I want a hot fudge shake? That sounds weird. Yeah. But it's literally, I mean, it's got hot fudge in the bottom. It's literally just like, imagine a chocolate frosty at Wendy's, but instead of tasting like chocolate, it tastes like hot fudge. Yeah. That That's what it is. And what he was talking about with the, the fudge at the bottom, it's the same thing with the one I like with the peanut butter Oreo. There's just a bunch of peanut butter in the bottom and it's just like, ugh. Yeah. Slap. Cookout is good. It is. 
They just brought a, a Bojangles here, but we were hoping they'd bring a, a cookout one day. That'd be freaking oh, sick. Oh, dude, that'd be fucking lit. Yeah, we'd be so fat. <sighs> I can imagine it now. Yeah. <laughs> is this what heaven is like? <laughs> nah, we're in Ohio. It's not heaven. <laughs> yeah. But on that note, that was day three. Yes. So we're gonna run in here to Menards, kind of look around, maybe some future ideas. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll meet you back out here and we'll talk about day four. Cool. All right, guys, we're in Menards. We're whispering because we're in a place that we're not supposed to be in, we're pretty sure. Yeah, it said there was stock. It said there was stock upstairs, so we thought we could just come up here. But... All right, guys, sorry about that. We're back at the house. Uh, but yeah, we were upstairs in a, what we thought was a place where customers could be. But uh, we weren't 100% sure because we stumbled upon like the employee like break area. And when it brought <laughs> us down, it was like behind one of the service areas, one of the staircases that we went down. We're like, huh. I feel like I'm not supposed to be up here. But what's weird is when we first walked up there, there was an employee up there and he didn't say anything. No. So I feel like if we weren't allowed to be up there, then he probably would have said something to us. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. No, I was kidding. <laughs> All right. As I was saying, uh, day four was the YouTuber meet, which was us jd joyride mustang lifestyle i almost did it again <laughs> what'd you almost say i almost say planet Stang when i'm trying to say mustang lifestyle i don't know oh. why i do it every time mustang lifestyle and then stang mode <laughs> and stang mode yeah but it was a good ass turnout it was it was a really good turnout it lasted for a while mm -hmm. we did some sketchy golf cart racing and golf cart burnouts that was pretty fun drunkenness from the other people that was a good time though, but yeah. the other thing I reminded Nick, cause I was like, well, what else did we do all day Thursday? We went and did some shopping a little bit. Um, well, we kind of hung out. We went and got some food. Um, what else did we do? I know we did something else. We did the nose piercing. That's when I got a needle shoved through my nose. But then what, what else did we do? I think after that, we just went to yeah, we just went to Walmart. We go in and got food. Then we went, went over there. Yeah. Went to Walmart and then went over to the meat. Yeah. That's right. Okay. But yeah, that meat was was awesome. It was. We got to unveil JD's car. Now we can say this because obviously everybody already knows. We got to we were probably one of the first ones to see it. Yeah. We probably were the first ones to see it other than him. Yeah. Because because he it got dropped off and they were waiting there in the golf cart and then we showed up we showed up and he showed us the car so. yeah so we were that's that's one of the reasons um in this recap video i know we wanted to point this out we we know we told you guys we were going to try to have daily videos um ah oh, oh, party foul man oh, got all in my pocket party foul dang it party foul hold up for a second but um man. while nick cleans himself up we we actually did have daily videos for you guys um but it made it a little hard because we had to be a little bit careful because a lot of our content that we came out with after that day actually starting wednesday i think was when his car got there so most of our content that we did including the suck bang blow stuff that's why we had to be really careful with that because it had his car in it and he hadn't unveiled it yet so we couldn't put it out yeah so we did have daily videos for you guys but we just had to be a little careful yeah i'm just gonna, and if it wasn't oh come on i'm just gonna go ahead and do it <laughs> i don't want it to get on me yeah but uh what was i about to say oh the other thing so if it wasn't if it wasn't for stuff like that or there was one day i think it was the the beaver bar video I stayed up late as crap just trying to get that thing edited. I got it done, was exporting it, went to bed, woke up, and then found out there were some issues with the export. And I was like, God dang it. So I had to export it again, and it was a short video by any means. It was like 20-something minutes. Which I suppose it wasn't super long, but 
it took a while to export and we didn't end up posting that video until probably the next day. No, it was four o'clock, I think was that was the one first one we did at four o'clock. Yeah. So we apologize for that, but sometimes these things just happen. So it is what it is. Technically difficulties. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think so far the best two your horn out <laughs> anyway but i think thus far for the mustang week the best two days were probably uh beaver bar and the youtuber meet because we got to make some really good connections as far as that youtuber meet was concerned we talked to people that i didn't think we were really going to talk to i kind of got myself out of my shell too as you probably saw where i was talking to that guy with that gt500 that uh, Andy met a couple years back. You met him too. I did? Yeah. He, I thought, thought that was the year that I didn't go. No, he was the one that we met at North Carolina. At, uh, oh, Jonathan yeah, Muir that's right. Shop. Yeah, okay, I did meet him too. Gotcha. Yeah, he was the one we met at Jonathan. Well, Muir regardless. Shop. It took me a minute to yeah. remember who he was too. I'm like, you are so familiar. Where do I know you from? <laughs> yeah. And it was killing me, and I'm like, where the fuck do I know you from? And then it hit me. I was like, North Carolina. That's what it was. But yeah, he was cool. It was cool to see the car, man. Yeah. That's one lucky dude. He had right a cool there. story, good, good looking car. But uh, like I said, it, it was good for me to try to break out of my shell a little bit because that was the first time I did anything like that, and I was like kind of flustered at first, but I figured it out. Uh, and then we got to talk, tuck, tuck. We, we got to talk to Andrew from Mustang Lifestyle, and dude's a cool dude. Yeah. And they, yeah. they shouted us out in their video recently, and the other. I don't know why I always forget his name. The guy that I'm assuming does his editing that we've been talking to. Oh. What is his name? I, I remember I it his, one minute and then I lose it. I know. I know his YouTube channel is Certified Rippers, yeah. but I, I can't remember his yeah. name. I'm really bad with names, guys. Yeah. If you haven't already, subscribe to Certified Ripper because that is a Certified Ripper-ass name. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I literally told him that when he told me what his channel was. I was like, I love that name. That's awesome. I'm like, that's legit. <laughs> but, uh... Bobcat or something? <clears throat> Must be. But uh, that basically sums it up for <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> well, I was thinking, you know, if we get steal that Bobcat for a little bit, we could start on the shop. <laughs> They're not supposed to know. <laughs> Bleep it out. <laughs> no. Bleep! <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it for our favorite parts I think so. of the... Because there's different categories of favorite. Like the last day coming up next is day five which was the video that just went out recently yeah uh that was my favorite for a different reason like it was nice to relax and just kind of do whatever we wanted versus having a set schedule we need to be at these places so we can get footage because youtube is a hobby first and foremost but when we go to mustang week sometimes it turns into good like job. a kind of a job because <clears throat> we got to be there at a certain time and make sure we get all the footage that we can Just sometimes we slip packed. up but it is what, what did it we is. end up doing on friday though that's the one thing i can't remember because that last day would have been saturday because we went to hard rock that night and then woke up the next morning which was sunday and oh, came yeah. home. what did we do <laughs> well regardless uh day five on our channel it was uh a fun time like like you if you watch the video if you haven't go ahead and watch it if you like the vloggy style stuff it's kind of sick actually i really enjoyed editing that with the the puck golf and uh what else did we do went around to the shops to the and hard dolphin. rock and went to the gay dolphin and it was a good time it was it but was. i think overall mustang week turned out pretty damn good i think so too but I do want to say one thing to you guys. Shout out to all of you that subscribed and watched all our videos while we were down there. Because when yeah, we see stuff, killed it. you guys really killed it. Like, we're home now and we've been home for about a week. But we're up like 67 subscribers since we left for Myrtle. Mm -hmm. And our watch time is somewhere in the 4,000s. Which is... As far as subscriber count is concerned, it's like infinity better because we don't really get all that many. Right. Granted, we haven't been the best at posting stuff, but like I said at the beginning of the video, we have a plan set in motion now. We're trying to take this a little bit more seriously. 
And we also want you guys to, I know a lot of you guys were commenting on a lot of the videos while we're down there. Tell us a little bit more of what you guys wanna see. If there's certain things that you guys like better, um, you know, let us know. And we're gonna try to stick with what the people like, yeah. you know? It just kind of depends on what it is. Yeah. Now, if you guys say, hey, buy another car and do a build, okay, send us your PayPal and send us money. Yeah. And, then, and then maybe we'll <laughs> I mean, do that, we're not but... saying that's not going to happen. I'm not saying what's happening back there, but something might be happening back there at some point. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> is that where the bodies are buried? Possibly. Fuck. I wonder if Carbon Panther's back there. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. I kind of hope he sees this. <laughs> Wonder if that's where the uh, oil change mod is. Yeah, oil change mods back there. My Lambo doors. My ugly ass rocket front end. <laughs> roasted this dude. Roasted. <laughs> Boom, roasted. We can't even Spriddle. see. We can't even see him anymore because he like blocked us. All we did was unfollow him. Like we weren't even trying to be dicks about it. It's like it's just your build. I get people do different stuff. It's just not for me, so I don't want to see that on my feed. That's just me. It's fair. I'm not going to just shit talk you to your face, but I'll do it behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dick. I know. Ah, no. no, he dropped his freaking spreadle, bud. It was so empty that, like, nothing came out. Yeah. I'm all right with that. But, yeah, I think the week turned out pretty damn good. Uh, excited for next year for sure. Mm -hmm. Excited for other things that we're working on with, with some other creators. Which you may have known, or may, not may have known, but you may know. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a spicy year for sure. I think, like I said, we're going to be uh, taking this a little bit more seriously now. we got kind of a, a set plan in motion of logistics and what we want to happen and right. just how we're going to structure everything. Just, just like I said at the beginning, bear with us. We'll get there. So, yeah, I mean... It was good all all the way around, like with. And we didn't hit. We didn't get a whole bunch of rain this year. No, either. we didn't. It was yeah. Good. The drive down was good. The drive back, we had a little, eh, spot. Fuck you, West Pajinas. <laughs> yeah, you guys missed out. I kept telling Andy, I was like, should we record a video, driving home? He's like, nah, there's no point. I'm like, okay. Uh, we had so much fun. <laughs> we had so much fun just doing stupid shit. Like we were just ripping on the cars, and. I was just fuck you, West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're still at this point in the video, you'll have to leave a comment because there's some funny stuff coming your way right now. But <laughs> if you're still there, I appreciate you. But basically what happened was <laughs> it's story time now. What happened was we hit this rain and I was sketched because I my, the, 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 I cannot talk today. The baby. When we were on the way back, or just in general, driving the cars on the street set, his car was a little bit in a better situation because his tread is there. My front tires are pretty much okay, but the rears are like down to the wear bar. And I was like, God, I hope we don't hit any rain. Didn't hit any rain at all on the way there. Then on the way back, for the first couple hours, we were good, right? And then out of nowhere, we get into West Virginia, and it starts, eh, freaking <laughs> bug attacked me. You yeah. see that shit? It tried to yeah. kill me. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. See, yeah. We're going through West Virginia and it started pouring down rain for like ever. Like, I'm like, how are we still stuck in this rain? Well, long story short, we finally get through it <laughs> and we're on the phone, Andy and I, and I, <laughs> he just, <laughs> I can't even say it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> but I, I, I'm leading, so he's behind me so he can see what I'm doing. I just stick my arm <laughs> out the window and i'm like fuck you west virginia <laughs> and I'm like shaking my arm and shit <laughs> and he starts virginia. cracking up and then he's like that looks kind of fun i want to do it too and he's like fuck you west paginas <laughs> <laughs> uh it was a good time and then after we got out of it i did a celebrate celebratory ripski on the car oh yeah yeah and then i was like man that looks like fun i want to do that too so then I downshifted and did it. Now, granted, my windows were down, and there's a big... Monarch butterfly going by. That's dope. <laughs> um, there was a big retaining wall next to me, so I ripped the piss out of it. And 
Nick was like, I forget how you said it at first. You were like, were you being a crackhead? And I was like, what are, oh, you, yeah. what are you talking about? I forgot about? about that. I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, were you screaming the whole time? And I was like, no, that was the fucking car echoing off yeah, the wall. Yeah, like legitimately, it sounded like he was just being like, I don't know if you guys have ever heard like just like a funny, like one of your friends being a crackhead kind of scream. Just, <laughs> he's like, Wah! That's what it sounded like through my freaking car speakers. And he was like, no, that was my car. I was like really <laughs> so then we started laughing about it and then we passed this this section of the, where there was like four or five cops and i was like hey you guys want to hear something funny and started down like acting like i was downshifting i just started screaming at the top of my lungs and nick's up in his car about to piss his pants laughing <laughs> it was a good time so now we know next year we are going to uh record make a video on the, the way home. home even if it's just audio and we'll yeah. find something yeah to we'll do find something it. We'll make like a cold case files type video. That'd be pretty cool, yeah. actually. Just input a bunch of random clips from old videos <laughs> just with new audio yeah. over it. <laughs> just make a cold case video. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. But uh, story time over. Uh, we're going to make sure to do things like that in the future to try to crack you guys up. Because yep. we, we do have our crackhead moments and we're stupid. But that we do. Hopefully you're here for that kind of ride. But like I said, just keep in mind we're a very i want to say very new but we've been doing it for like five years believe it or not but as far as a youtube channel is concerned we are one of the little fish and we'd like to become like a medium fish <laughs> yeah we actually we would really like to become a megalodon but yeah but i'm trying to be realistic here but we can only do that with the help of you guys yes so when you guys do like, when you guys do comment, when you guys do subscribe, we see all of it and we freak out every single time. Whether we're on the phone or not, he'll text me or he'll call me. He's like, bro, did you see we're up like another five subscribers? I'm like, fuck yeah, I did. Fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that's another reason why we try to make sure to, to respond to every comment yeah. too. That you we know, do. We want to make sure that you guys are taken care of. Nobody else is doing it for us. It's just us. Mm -hmm. So... We will respond to every comment mm -hmm. as long as we can see it. Yeah. Cigar. Oh, we touched him. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. It's for the boys. <laughs> like I said, we appreciate you. Keep in mind all those things, and I hope you guys will stay along for the ride. If not, you do you, boo-boo. We can, we can only do so much, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but eventually we'll get there. I deserve this. Don't do that. That's an expensive tattoo right there, buddy. <laughs> I deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> he switches to the other arm. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll freaking see you guys in the next one. Peace.